What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from the Non Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Um Yeah, the link will be in the description box below. Like I put them in the, I put them in all the videos. Um The failure of the thug and thug lover. See, I said this before, we have an affinity for the hustler, thug. And no matter how people lie about it, that's what we do. You know, it's an American thing. It's not just a black community thing. So don't give me that bu you know, bullshit. Y'all some godfather loving, uh, uh, um, you know, Bill Bixby, <laughs> you know, Butch and the Sundance Kid, Billy the Kid, you know, outlaw loving motherfuckers, you know, uh, you know, Lucky Luciano Al Capone, yeah. But here's the failure of the thug. See, thugs don't do nothing but fuck shit up, you know. We looked at the, you know, for some odd reason, I don't know how we wound up looking at thugs like they was gonna go into the underworld and criminal life and then somehow rebuild the community. They're thugs. They don't know shit about nothing positive. They got good hearts. Well, if they got good hearts, tell me something that the Bloods, Crips, Vice Lords, Disciples, you know, have done that's been positive for the black community in the last shit forty years. Tell me what they've done that 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 that, that created anything for all the, the 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 big time drug dealers, you know, robbers, murderers, jack boys, you know, muscle. Tell me what have they done. What have they built with, with their underworld money for the community to make to keep it positive? Crickets! You know, oh, they're, they're a good image. I'm kind of glad the thug image is, is cracking me up now because the thug image really looks like a effeminate little bitch now. You know, on all fronts. It always was an effeminate little bitch mold. You know, I don't care who it was. If it was Al Capone, if it was Lucky Luciano, they did bitch shit. They all did bitch shit. If they, the Godfather did bitch shit, they, they, and that's a movie depiction, but, you know, same thing with Scarface. They did bitch shit. Just, you know, they all had doing whole shit. But now, you know, it looks so aggressive and so... Oh, I'm so scared of them. And see, when you see these thugs, quote unquote, in action, you like, what the fuck? You know, thugs look like Soldier Boy for real on camera. <laughs> you like, you you put yourself on camera swinging like that, dog? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? That's what you did, B? Okay. You know, thugs get getting tattoos and being chubby and fat and shit, just like Rick Ross and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got them choppers. Y'all forgot when he got shot at that motherfucker was in the back of a squad police car? Did you forget that shit? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They was chasing me down the block. Oh, you know, but anyway. <laughs> um... You know, the, everything that, that a thug was supposed to stand for, it, it never came to fruition. You know, they put these thugs on the first 48. Are they, are they, I'm real. No, they, sir, I didn't mean it, sir. Stop it, sir. I, I don't want to go to jail. <gasps> My mama going to kill me if she found out I did this shit, please. But I'm going to tell y'all who did it, you know what I'm saying? I thought thugs don't snitch. Fuck that, nigga. Fuck that shit. I'm snitching. I need my freedom. 
<laughs> I got a baby on the way. I love our baby. You know, it's a failure. The failure of thug technology has exposed the thug and the thug lover. You know, <laughs> you know, you, you got the people. If I was using an example, they're celebrities. Then you got the people who are actual quote unquote thugs. Y'all be on Facebook and social media like, yeah, 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 yeah. If you into some criminal shit, the last thing you need to be on is social media. Just, no. No, B. You're not supposed to be on social media. You're not supposed to be, oh, you know what I'm saying? Dude, you're a gangster. You're gangster. You're not in the fucking uh, fraternity. You like you can't be throwing up them signs on social media like, you know, with your guns and y'all some you got mask on, but you some of y'all got the phone number on it. Y'all be y'all are some failures because y'all so show how stupid you have become. Cause thugs want attention. Being a thug, you got to be a low key motherfucker. You got to be low key. Like you can't be. You know, that's how most thugs get caught because they want everybody to see them. But hey, whatever. Thug lovers. You got the, you know, the people crying on TV. You know, why is it like this? Wasn't you rewarding these guys for their thuggery? Didn't they come over your house? Wasn't y'all having sex with them? Wasn't y'all kicking back playing dominoes and spades with them? You know, wasn't y'all kicking back forgiving them when they broke into your house because, you know, they just said, you know, you know, I just they need money for school clothes. When they got shot, was when they got shot doing criminal activity, wasn't y'all out here saying they ain't do they ain't do shit? Like they they're a good person? And then they kicking your shit. Then they ain't shit. Then somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody you know, I know who did it. You know, you know I know who broke in my house and you know, you know I was good to you. Oh, you didn't think they was gonna rob your ass? You didn't think they was gonna shoot up your shit? Oh, okay. So now you now you ass out because you just was in love with that shit. Okay. You know, you got the you got the the fine women. The, the fine women, damn. The fine women like who are examples of this, I'll say like Trina, like Nicki Minaj, you know, like Lil Kim. Thug lovers, you know what I'm saying? You know, they all go, they all wind up in the same space. You know, Lil Kim had, you know, was with people, and then, cause she couldn't pick a good guy, cause she just liked the thuggishness. Lil Kim may be, you know, old Lil Kim was fine. New Lil Kim, I can't recognize, but that's a whole nother story. But she still, you know, she still got a shape. She kept her body together, but looks like a tragedy, like. You know, like, to self hate, run them up, and you know she got to change because she can't. She have to upgrade whatever she's upgrading to, because she doesn't know how to keep a man because she don't love herself enough. Because the guys that she fuck with don't have love for nothing, especially her, because thugs have this. Gay type of love for men and hate for women. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just being honest. Um, you know, a move on the same way with Trina. You know, Trina dated a lot of guys, and everybody had a thing for Trina. And, you know, and now, you know, I look on Facebook, they got a bunch of Trina memes about how. What kind, what kind of man should treat a good woman? Something. It's like, chick, you had about 30,000 dudes with these fucking lip print tattoos on their neck. Everybody was chasing you. You Look at your track record. Look at the dudes you've been fucking with. That's the one thing I can say about Sierra Day and Russell Wilson. She I, she saw Trina's route. And like, you know, you know, everybody Trina was fucking with is, is in happy relationships and Trina ain't. And Trina's still fine. She's still bad. But bad don't... You know, bad ain't equal up to nothing. That's where Nicki Minaj going. You know, I'm single again. Honestly, you know, both of her boyfriends look like fuckboys. I mean, it is what it is. That's what she like. It, 
you know, Nicki Minaj is a bad chick, and then you look at the dude she fuck with, you're like, man, you don't be messing with no thorough ass dudes, you be really fucking with them fuck boys, I mean, no disrespect, I mean, that's just how they come off, you know, just fuck boyish, you know, and that's the same, um, and, and that's what happens to using them as as an example. That's what happens to the to, to the ladies in the community who who love the thugs. And the same thing with the men who love the thugs, because most men would tell you as you when you become a grown adult, thugs get scared of men, cause thugs know they're gonna get knocked the fuck out. You know they be out there talking all that shit and do a, a, a man come around him like, hey hey what's that? What's up, man? Because it ain't all of that bullshit about, you know, I've been locked up for five years. Dudes be like, I don't give a fuck. You gonna, you gonna get your five years? People who've been in jail get knocked out too, dog. You know, I ain't getting knocked out by you. You you ain't nothing but a, you know, you deliver fucking water for a living. Well, guess what? I'm gonna knock your ass out delivering water for a living. How about that? You know, I ain't getting knocked out by no motherfucking EMS driver. Get, get your ass lifted. <laughs> you know <laughs> and and people's like wait, wait, how, how y'all gonna you know go a little further mixing these two things together you know the failure of the thug is that aspect of everybody thought they was hard and, and, and could protect people you notice thugs don't protect the community they fuck it up and they don't stand up for it when it's time to protect it they run Thugs don't protect the women. They usually beat the women's ass or cheat on the women. Some of them rape their fucking kids or teach their kids dysfunctional shit like it's cool because, you know, they, they ain't their kids and at the same time want people to be good to their kids who don't who they're not raising or their or their lifestyle can't um, they can't keep them around because of their lifestyle, you know. So, and at the same time. Nobody places this at the at the thug altar with the thug people, you know, with the thugs in the community. Like y'all talked all that shit about what how big and bad y'all was, and y'all the most bitch made group of men we got. Everybody else got to clean up your mess, you know. Everybody got to pay your fucking bills. Everybody got to take care of your kids. Every, people got to got to defend you from the police. Or from other gangs because you too you can't handle it. You know, people gotta get get your bail money because all this thuggery and crime you've been doing, you still broke as shit and you can't even you don't have a stash for yourself. And everybody, oh, real gangsters have a stash. These motherfuckers don't have no lawyer fees, no bonds, money. These motherfuckers out here bullshit. You know, these women out here looking at these. You know, I love he, I love him, waiting on him, and I. <laughs> And they wait so long that they look around and say, what the fuck was I doing with my life? And then when they say, you know what, all the people who wasn't thugs, come clean all this shit up. And the people feel like, we ain't doing that shit, pimp. What does the community say? Y'all some sellouts. But you never say them thugs were sellouts. You never said them thugs was coons. You never said them thugs was, 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 the, was the destruction of the black community. You never said, you know, we talk about black women and single mothers. You never said these thugs are, are just as bad as these horrible ass uh, black women and single mothers. They just one and the same. You know? You never say that. And these thugs never, you know, they can't admit, oh, we dusty ass motherfuckers. We bullshit all this. Oh, we, we pimps, we doing the wrong thing. Ah, oh, shut your whole ass up. Are you going to fix fix it? No, because when these guys fix it, they become even these, when they become conscious or more educated, they still don't use that energy in the right way. They still trying to fuck somebody over and hustle somebody. But once again, nobody looks at them and says, you know, you, you completely useless. You know, y'all let them motherfuckers become... Preachers and pastors and hustle, <laughs> and fuck it, and fuck, and still have sex with the older women. Like y'all let these motherfuckers become 
like, you know, when they become artists and then they turn around and say, you know, let's do something positive. Who the fuck are you to say to do something positive? You ain't done shit positive in 20, 30 motherfucking years. Now you want to be the poster for positivity without cleaning up all the negativity that you created? Matter if you can get your fuck ass out of here. But once again, that's not the th- that's not a fail. That's not quote on. That's the failure of the thug. But that's not the community placing the failure of the thugs on the thugs. See, that's somebody else' problem. And, and this is what I'm saying. Like, think about it. I'm gonna use it as this example, and I'm gonna get out of here. Snoop Dogg can represent the thugs. Start shit, get in trouble everywhere he go. Promote all kinds of negativity, and people fall down with that. But people want people like LeBron James to use all of his resources to fix that. And then want people, and, and he would be a coon if he doesn't. And th- this would like be, like say if LeBron was in California, you know. Let's let take that back. Let's, let's say Kobe was supposed to do it. You know, Kobe was supposed to do it, Magic, Shaq, something like that, because they play in L.A., you know. You need to fix the LBC, Kobe. Kobe ain't from the LBC, motherfucker. Snoop is. Well, see, you know, Kobe wanted you to do play sports and not get in trouble. Yeah, we ain't gonna bring up the right thing, but you know, <laughs> but same thing, you know. But then at the same time, Barack Obama is 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 what you should aspire to be. When you gonna come fix the, the hood, Barack? So LeBron or Barack could have to fix it, but Snoop, who created it, just gets to be with you on the sideline and say, y'all need to fix this shit that I fucked up. Yeah. Hurry up over here, brother. What kind of brother are you to not fix this shit that I fucked up? You know, that's the failure of the thug and the thug lover. Peace.